I just wanted to say that this is the ultrasound clip that we had when the doctor found out that the baby had SUA. So this is a high risk doctor that came in during our ultrasound to confirm that the baby has single umbilical artery. So I just wanted to post this here for those that are interested in seeing what happened and hearing what the doctor had to say. Um, I was pretty much upside down on the table at this point and it was a lot to take in. Uh, it was very emotional and confusing and I just wanted to share it just so that those who are going through the same thing or are curious in what the doctor had to say can hear um, and see what was going on. So I did zoom in the clip. Billy was taking it so it's a little shaky but I hope this helps anybody else that's also going through the same thing. But thanks for watching. I'm very close to it. It's a weird angle, so I can't say it is or isn't. Let's take a look at here. So this baby has something called a single umbilical artery, uh, which when it's found all by itself, is considered a normal variant. I'm going to show you that here shortly. You'll see two circles here. I'll get some of these pictures and then I'll show you in a second, okay? Okay. I know you're, you're at a disadvantage at the moment. two vessel umbilical cord. Normally there's three vessels in the umbilical cord. There's an umbilical vein which takes blood from the placenta to the baby. That's the oxygenated one. We only have one of those. Yeah. Then you're supposed to have two umbilical arteries, okay? okay? And these go around the bladder to take blood back from the back from the body, deoxygenated blood, and take it back into the placenta so we can get a refill. Okay. Okay? More commonly the left is absent than the right. And this one, this baby has an absent left umbilical artery. Okay, I actually saw somebody yesterday with an absent left umbilical artery. It's very common. Okay, it can be a soft marker for genetic abnormalities. Uh, more specifically, trisomy 18 and trisomy 13. Okay. The unique thing about those disorders is they're typically not found by themselves. And so, when we find what something called what we consider a soft marker for a genetic abnormality, mm -hmm. if it's isolated, meaning that if it's the only thing that we can see, we consider it a normal variant because it doesn't significantly increase the risk of a genetic abnormality. If you have two soft markers, meaning this and then one of a lot of other ones, mm -hmm. okay then that significantly increases your risk of having a genetic anomaly. And then we start having a discussion about some genetic tests, screening, or diagnostic tests that you can obtain. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, I need to double check. I think you guys have already had genetic screening this pregnancy. Absent left. The things that are the most concerning for a single umbilical artery is the potential concern, if you find anything else, mm -hmm. of the genetic risk. So we make make sure that we look really hard to make sure that we don't see anything else. Okay. okay? And then they ha we like to double check on baby's growth when you get to about 32 weeks to make sure baby's growing fine. Okay. The vast majority of babies who have this finding grow perfectly fine. A higher percentage of babies with single umbilical artery, when you compare those babies to babies who don't have a single umbilical artery, have some trouble growing. Let's say it's 10% versus 5%. And so we make sure we come back, we get a little bit paternalistic and we do another ultrasound at 32 weeks just to make sure baby's still on pace. Okay. Okay? Is it because the baby's not getting enough oxygen that nope. the baby does not is not growing or is it just one of those? No, we don't know why. To be quite honest with you, because if that were the case, you'd be wondering, well, why is that happening? Because the oxygen isn't impaired. We normally have one big caliber vessel that takes oxygen from the placenta to the baby. Uh -huh. And we're only supposed to have one of those. And this baby has a normal umbilical vein.
Okay, so we got that. We got that. We got that. Let me see one more view that I don't need you upside down for it. So let's